Hi guys, we're with the horse again, and today we're going to learn about thinking with the heart. On Sunday I was listening to this podcast by this um, Dharma teacher, Reginald, I forget his last name, the website is dharmaocean.org. D-H-A-R-M-A. Yeah, D-H-A-R-M-A, ocean.org, and uh -huh. it was episode 89 of his podcast, and it's about dark knowledge. Dark. He talked about how, you know, we often use the metaphor left brain, right brain, where we yes. say that the left brain is sort of the intellect, and the right brain is feeling and intuition. And, and spatial he, relations, yeah, and, and so and, forth. And he actually said that, and it makes a lot more sense, that that's kind of a miss, a wrong metaphor, that really... The better way to think about it is to think about cortical knowledge, the cortex being the, uh, the newest part of the brain, you know, the surface of the brain that has all the grooves in it. Uh -huh. And that's the knowledge of the intellect and decision making and weighing opinions. And he contrasts that with, you know, the, again, the wrong metaphor for the right brain, that the, the more accurate way of looking at that is really the limbic system, which is the emotional brain the brain stem, which is all of our visceral reactions, breathing, feeling, and the body. So instead of saying left brain, right brain, we should really be seeing cortical brain and body brain. And the way we access the body brain or the body wisdom is through the heart. He said the heart is a river of experience. Yeah. And I really like that. And so I think, and the other, what's I think really relevant to our work here is that the left brain or the cortical brain its fundamental quality is disconnection you know you think about something and by thinking about it you're removed from it and the fundamental attribute of the right brain or body brain really or body consciousness or heart consciousness is really that sense of connection connection, connection to our own body connection to the beings and people around us connection to the environment and so i, I really like that as a model but what we do here, we're really taking people out of their thinking brain, out of their cortical brain, into their heart consciousness through the horses, through the connectedness. And I think yeah. that the horses are so perfect for that because we have to get out of our heads to connect with them. And then the gift they give us is, is reminding us of that fundamental connection we have with everything around us. Well, after I've been here, I feel emotionally charged. Exactly. Yeah. You're in, we're in touch with our emotions through the heart. Yeah. Anyway, that's my little spiel. Thank you, Floyd, right. for sharing that. And, um, get the stick and drive him if you want to watch him again. Dr. Richard E. Saito, Saitovic writes yeah. that how strange it is that we identify so strongly with the rational mind when we connect with the world so strongly with the emotional psyche. When Native Americans were told that the white man thinks with his head, they said, the white man is crazy. We think with our hearts.
Today we're working with Nikki. She's the most dominant of, of the mares. Here. Yeah. And they're not taking no for an answer from Shadow. Dr. Saito X says, I propose that it is Remember to communicate. more satisfying to evoke the psyche rather than to analyze it. Maybe you guys weren't connected enough yet. You want to put the halter back on and walk around a little more? Try some brushing? Okay, try some brushing. Maybe that'll, maybe that'll be a good way. What I'm trying to do is see if she'll follow you a little bit and come connect with the other line and tell each other. So you stay in this area right here. So think about it together and then how you're going to do it. You're going to lead to the launch your way or Leah's way, which way you're going to do I don't think we should try connecting somewhere. I don't think they got as connected as they could. Yeah, I agree that they've got to do something that's been okay. trying. Yeah. 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 They're learning their own way of relating to the horse. Yeah, the they're best way to do it is to keep walking. Yeah. Well, then it's funny because earlier they were holding hands. Um, but then when they were walking, their um, steps weren't as Pressure, so a little closer. See if she may make her back up a little. See now she wants to run because she's not she's challenging your leadership by trying to be cute.
to try this run? Maybe uh, just you could just shadow Leah and then you could take over. Thank you for being with us again. Uh, please join us every month. Wynn Simon is our equine expert. Florian Berkmeyer is our psychological teacher and advisor and friend. And we thank you for watching. Please come back. Thank you.